Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today I want to show you a workflow trick. I'm really excited for it because you might not know this even if you've been using Studio One for many, many years now. Uh, I know this from my experience because whenever I tell even seasoned Studio One producers about this, they often are in complete shock that you can actually do this. And it has to do with copying your effect channel settings from plugins across songs. That can sometimes be a little bit difficult because in Studio One, we do have song data import, but that is track based. And sometimes you want to do that with mixer channels instead. By the way, if you're not clear on the differences between mixer channels and tracks, I want to link my video that I have on this topic, which is quite unique in Studio One. But anyway, let me show you how you can do this. So right here, I'm working on a mastering production and I have already done a very similar kind of master just recently. And so I'd like to copy over a couple of the channel settings. Now, I don't want to open up the other project right now and, uh, you know, save all the presets separately or as an effects chain and then drag it into this project. I just want to do it from this song because that's just the fastest way. And I'm showing you this from the project page in Studio One, but you can actually also do this from the song page or any other Studio One project file. Okay, with that said, let me show you how you do this. So you open up the browser right here in the bottom right corner and you go to the files tab. The files tab is also present on the show and song page. And here you want to navigate to your Studio One documents folder. And when you then open up either the projects for mastering or the songs, you'll notice that here you find all of your productions that you've already saved, nothing unusual here. But if I navigate to this uh, project right here, for instance, you see that I'm now able to click the project file. And inside we find the presets of all the channels that are being used. And here I can just make a multi-selection like this of plugins and drag that directly into my production and I'm good to go. Right, so this is incredibly useful, obviously, and you can use the same technique to get instruments and other presets over from any kind of song into your current production without having to create a template or anything like that. Hopefully you're going to be finding this helpful and thank you for watching.